Hello there everyone, Mediocre Otaku here, and uh, recently, in case you haven't heard, uh, the creator of Veroni Kenshin, Nobuhiro Watsuki, was uh, found with child pornography. Um, not all of the details are out yet, so it's possible to a very small degree that this guy could be found innocent. Maybe someone framed him. I find that highly unlikely. Um, but it is... It's, it sucks because Roni Kenshin is a, a great series that I really love. I own everything except for the third season um, because that's all filler. Um, and now I, I don't think I will ever be able to watch that series again without it being marred by this uh, event that just transpired. <laughs> um, it doesn't make the show any worse of a show, it's just that as I'm watching it, in the back of my mind, in the front of my mind, somewhere in my mind, I will remember that it was created by <laughs> a man who uh, likes little girls. Um, and this actually got me thinking. Um, Nobuhiro Watsuki was born in 1970, and the whole big lolicon boom, I guess if you want to call it that, uh, happened in 19... it first started in 1979. Um, so I am sort of concerned that other people of his age who happened to really grow up as that stuff was first being produced and before laws are put in place to regulate the, that shit, um, I'm concerned that maybe that warped people's minds a little bit and that other mangaka from that time period might have similar issues. Um, I'm hoping that that is not the case because I really don't want to see any of my other favorite series uh, sort of go down the shitter because of that. Um, imagine if fucking the Masashi Kishimoto was found with child porn. Naruto is such a huge series that so many people love, and it, it's still relevant. Maroni Kenshin has like this spin-off thing, but it hasn't really been at the forefront of the public eye for quite some time now. But and I'm not saying that Kishimoto would, have, Kishimoto would ever do that. I'm just using him as an example <laughs> um, because he, he is a big name. Um, that would just ruin Naruto for so many people, which would be such a shame. I personally am not the biggest Naruto fan. I love the first season, and then everything else after that sort of hit or miss for me. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I was not expecting this. We had the loss of Bulma's Japanese voice actor was it earlier this week? I think it was. Uh, maybe it was over the weekend. I don't know. But, like, there's a lot of stuff going on over here in Hollywood where apparently there's a huge child sex trafficking ring, which uh, <laughs> I really have no way of knowing about because obviously Hollywood is... If it is true, it's just gonna try to shut everyone down who claims that it's true. And if it's not true, then it's, it's just gonna be basically the same thing. Um, where nothing gets done about it really either way, most likely. Um, but I was not expecting this uh, same sort of issue to happen in Japan at the same time. 
especially with a creator like him who really like he had little girls in Maroni Kenshin but they were not at all sexualized at any point and none of the female characters are really sexualized at any point that I can recall in uh, Maroni Kenshin um, so it's just strange I, I wouldn't have expected it from him but um, I, everybody has their own you know inner demons and in Watsuki's case it appears that the demons were victorious 